Hello everyone, this is Umesh Shrestha. I'm a teacher and a teacher developer. And today I'm gonna to share with you a short video. Just might say, I wanna share some of the skills every effective teachers must develop. I wanna start with a little bit of disclaimer. You skill are prior knowingly or unknowingly, a lot of us as teachers Hamle gain gorikatsu, hamle develop gorikatsu. But knowing this in a very specific way, the detailed way, ma, will help us understand how we can develop these skills. Ra, you skill aru, boy, when I'm a student or I'm a learner or I got to effectively teach gonna suck so. You could have a focus course. So again, I wanna say, ki, of course, we know teaching bigger picture, but it's a very, very complex skill but just like any part part my detail my guy or component ko perspective but here when they'll analyze gonna suck you any we can develop as a further effective teaching and learning skills either so i'm going to share with you five skills i want to start with the first one every teacher must develop this skill of instructional designer I mean, instructional designing, where you could probably have to go a lesson plan when I down some class, right? So beyond that, kick it up. So as a teacher, you also need to know how to create syllabus or curriculum. Create math, right? This like buzna, this like explain gono, this like actually internalize gono pani signo And every curriculum or syllabus ma, then learning objectives are set kariye kuncha, assessment ko set kariye kuncha. So kosari. The content like structure or right? So as a teacher, we need to understand how to create these learning objectives, especially using Bloom's taxonomy. Kosari assessment or banoni. Right? Any you saw kura like kosari material plus technology pani amle blend gun. Learning materials blending with technology. So Broad way, but every teacher is also an instructional designer, right? So the learning outcome, learning objective, kasari align garni, you could add money, sickness or runsa. So that's first. Second is learning how to create experience, not just create design experience, right? So, like pedagogical perspective, but I hear you, right? knowing how to teach, how to take the students from point A to point B. So I got your instructional design perspective, but I'm going to set curriculum learning outcomes. They have some learning, like cost the whole experience design. So cost the whole activities and activities on a reflection cost of the design so that it helps student to generate meaning and application. You know, learning when you go very, Sikera matra bhaena ni tesla apply pani garna saknu paryo ra apply gari sabe tesma thi reflect pani garna saknu paryo and again the process chali rahancha right so even designing from 3 minute euta activity to a week long or months long project based activities haru te kasari design garne bhanne kura chai sikna ekdamai ekdamai jaruri cha har ek teacher let's go through the third one Every teacher must know how to manage attention in the classroom. I like you take them a distraction, a distraction by go environment, my learning environment, my cursory student or attention manage gone. Attention money go kill, but they like cognitive load theory co perspective, but I'm because it was me. You could have a signal to measure is a teacher early on. On in so cognitive science, but see attention is the gateway to learning. So, when you learn to learn, conscious to learn, you can first ma attention to learn. For example, in the example, in the class, you have to attention to manage the Gornu Pursa, but how do you do that? How do you help students learn the skills of managing their own attention? So, this is an example. In the workshop, you can learn to learn. There are some instructions, right? So bell ring, and 
Dear God, if see, within five seconds, you have to give us your focus, right? And also sit your back straight and smile. That was the way to gain the attention during or after Unipani breakout room activities or, or group activities. Family so, instruction one your teacher are like participating teacher are like activity pachi bell press karim and most of them forgot how to come back to attention family so, and in note got the first maji it took almost 15 seconds to get everyone back to attention this is a very or kuchuti got you like group activity got basically very yes sir family bell ring got it took even 18 seconds this pachi so even teachers, when they are doing the work in the class, right, to get their attention back, sometimes we need to be very, very explicit about this instruction. Kosari attention, I'm going to back on it. Attention, right? So focus, eyes on the teacher or eyes on somewhere, eyes on me, right? And sit with your back straight, do nothing else, pen, or whatever you are using to sape kura la pause garne bhanne halko explicitly instruction di sake pachi matrai e attention bhaneko yo bhanera student haru le pani bujchan this is just an example and ultimately your example one as they 5 seconds me teacher were able the teachers were able to come back to the attention interesting next skill is to be an effective communicator now teaching a lot of times we are communicating with our students and within ourselves as well. We are also communicating with other teachers, administrators, parents. But teaching or learning context, my classroom with go context, my say, it's also important to communicate the classroom expectations, norms, and rules. Because what you communicate becomes a part of the culture, the learning culture. Similarly, as a communicator, you need to explain the concepts of the subject you're teaching to present them, to facilitate, to ask questions, probe students with very good questions. Also give feedback. Feedback matter give useful feedback. Feedback did I hear useful by money. That's my implementation by money. That's not a feedback, right? So how to give useful feedback? And at the same time, as a communicator, how do you how do you make your students feel your presence in the classroom? Your normal communication perspective but upon so similarly through communication how do you communicate that you are a firm teacher or a friendly teacher what's it a warm demander once i'm very very strict i'm very very firm but i do this because i want you to learn and i can also be very very friendly with you guys so that's the way I communicate and try to set the culture and norms in the classroom. Also knowing key communication ma zoilipani or a gap unsa. Right? Here's an illustration. So if this is the area of the circle represents what I think in my head, what I can put in words using language is even a smaller circle. What I can actually say or write or communicate, the circle becomes even smaller. And lastly, what others actually understand. So, I portion of what I actually think and know. So, it's like take a teaching context. So, what I know, I actually as a teacher about the content and that subject. But how do I put those things into lessons or class or experience or instructions? And what I actually can go into the class and actually teach. Right? And ultimately what the students or learners end up learning. So this is Communication gap on us. This is a teaching learning gap. And like, sorry, avoid going. And like, sorry, minimize going. That is one of the skills teachers need to learn. And ultimately, the fifth skill is teachers also need to be a constant learner. 
and learning, unlearning, or relearning the process. So, you can continue. So, after teaching skills, you can refine the science of learning. You can refine the science of learning. You can refine the science of learning. You can refine the learning. You can refine the explore the science of and at the same time, reflecting and sharing your reflections or your experiences. So self-reflection and sharing, so sharing through blogs, articles, videos like this, or articles published in research journals. So kasari share gani after reflection to pani sikte zano So growing one's own to domain expertise at the same time, looking for Patterns beyond our domain, but it opens them important. Kura. So connecting to the real world, after after your domain expertise, that's how they saw. Can you any subject? Ma. But beyond that, key kura ma connect gonna so kinsa key kosari pattern or search gonna so kinsa two kura open them explore karte zani. Ra yo pancho ra skill ko bari mo ele kura gore, but at the end of this thing, everything revolves around your learners. So your pattern is skill can learn going on that you're actually trying to get your learners from point A to point B or you might want to And it's very, very important key you understand your learners. Who are the learner or adult or key son of a key expertise go level case egg them a novice beginning level level call key or somewhere in the middle or egg them expert level some of you say go. At beginning level, a student like boy, when you get direct instruction, expert, uh, explicit instruction, or the important thing, so I'll get a support gun for you, and we started I'm like gradually expert level map with a student are like a discovery perspective, but I'll get the experiment perspective, but even project basis perspective on a second second. So knowing your audience, their interest, their concerns, owner motivation, and ultimately owner goal. It will help us become effective teachers. And the topic could say, I'm like your instructional designing the key experience, designing the key classroom management, some of the could I'm like incorporate gone to so. If we don't know who they are, then probably we are teaching in a vacuum. Even though we have all the tools, all the content, everything, we will still be teaching in a vacuum. All right, let me recap your path or skill. Instructional designer ko perspective bada amle kosiri amro class ma class ko lagi learning objective baru set karni yu kura aru amle sikno pani unsa experience designer ko perspective bada how do we change the convert the content into activities experiential activities so that they can learn reflect implement and grow. Attention manager ko perspective but I'm listening to how to understand the cognitive load theory or the theory like us family implement gone attention like a city sustain gone even a perspective but communicator ko perspective but how can we become effective communicator about our subject about our classroom ko culture and also about how to create that teachers presence in the classroom. And at last, as teachers, we also need to develop this skill of learning. And at the same time, unlearning and relearning to skill. All right. That's it. I'll be back with Estearco Sano videos. And yeah, keep learning, unlearning, and relearning.